everybody. Today I want to talk to you about a new automation that I recently discovered was now available via a native Mac application, Shortcut. And that's the automation to close all apps at once. As you know, I've had this capability for quite some time in Keyboard Maestro. We can start Keyboard Maestro like this and take a look at that application. And I'm going to go to quit. Because I think I called it quitter or something. Yeah, here it is. And I run this script using uh, Apple script that I have and it um, basically a script to shut down all applications that are currently running except for a select few. Um, so what you do here is you simply um, select the Apple script file and 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 uh, put it in the Apple script action, give it a trigger, which is mine here is caps lock Q. And then it'll uh, run and close all apps. And I have a similar one for Windows. So uh, I don't want to run this application quite yet. I want to show you the first so I think it's to the quit apps script right here and this is the app the script that gets um, executed when I do the command or not command caps lock Q but now we have another method for this. We're gonna close the Apple script. We now have a more, I guess this is a, a native script as well, but we won't need scripts in this next one. So I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna close this download window and I'm gonna close uh, the, Keyboard Maestro Editor. And now I'm going to go to Shortcuts. There we go. And we're going to create a new shortcut. And we're going to call it... I'm going to do the same thing I did before, but because I've already created this one. But I'm going to show you how to create it. And then to um, create a sh keyboard shortcut, you do this. Okay, I already named it the same, so I've got to change the name. Okay. And now I'm going to find the action. Before actually giving it a shortcut, I'm going to go to quit. And here is the one action that you need. And there it is. Um, and here's the key. You have to select where it says apps right here and uh, select uh, all apps. And then now you have an option to choose um, apps that you don't want to close. In mine, the original one that I've already created I selected ScreenFlow, 
because I don't want that app to terminate as I'm doing this recording. Okay? And then, uh, so you would say screen flow, and let's just type it in here. And here, so you put a check right there, and then you're done. And you go back to information for the uh, for the shortcut. So here's the kill switch two. You're gonna um, right click here, go back to edit it, and then go to info, and then uncheck services menu because you don't want it appearing in the services menu. And you're gonna say something like control option K. I don't know why that would be, but it's just as an example. And this is all you need. And you can toggle off of the um, the um, shortcut now. And there you have the application all that, that you need to run uh, to close all apps. Now to actually execute this application, I'm going to execute the one that I originally did. I'm going to close this and show you guys this one to show you that it's the same one. Here. And it says, receive images and 18 more input from quick actions if there's no input. And continue. And yes, you want to continue. And then it says, quit all apps except ScreenFlow. And the your shortcut is, if you go back in here to, to um, information, it's going to be Control Option Q. Okay, now we're going to close this. Then we're going to close the uh, shortcut library. And we're going to see what applications are open here. So we're going to have all these. Uh, fi uh, what is it called? Uh, VMware Fusion. Notes. New Me, the Stocks app, and well, here, Shortcuts. Now we're going to try it. So it's going to be Control Option Q. And that's going to close all apps all at once. Now remember, you have the one from uh, Keyboard Maestro which we, did, we saw the script earlier in the video. And for that one, all you have to do is um, the caps lock and Q. And that does the same thing. So, which one, tell me in the comments, which method do you guys prefer? Me personally, I prefer um, Keyboard Maestro because it, I'm used to it and it has a lot more functionality. But then you have the detractors that say, well, with shortcuts, it's a native app. So why, why not use it for as much as you can? Let me guys, let you, let me know what you guys think in the video, in, in the comments below. And with that, guys. I'll see you all in the next video.